Hey you guys, it has been a really long time since I've like posted a normal video I feel like. I just wanted to check in, I have a few minutes and I just, the baby just fell asleep and he's sleeping right there so I thought I would just pop on. I want this to be a really informal video, um, just, just showing up as I am in the moment. I didn't plan to film this, I was like hey I have a second put the camera on, I'm not going to edit this, we're just going to go. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Basically, the big gist of it is that I, um, I need to step back from a lot of things right now. That's the biggest thing is I feel I bit off way more than I could chew in the last few months. And um, it's been showing up in different areas of my life. And it's just time for me to kind of reevaluate and chill out. I think I'm I'm very much like a go getter and I want I don't know, I was just given so much abundance this year, I feel like, and I didn't want to say no to anything. I didn't want to say no to any opportunities or ideas. Um, I feel like sometimes if I leave them, I won't get to them or they won't happen. So I would rather like do it when, like now, <laughs> instead of push things off for later. Um, and it's just, it's just become this thing where it's like, hey, I had a baby five months ago and I need to slow down. Um, it's not that even that I like hit burnout, it's just I was like getting there. And um, I noticed it and Cody noticed it and people in my life noticed it and it was just something that I knew if I didn't kind of address, it would just continuously get to the point where I wasn't able to maintain all the things I was doing anymore and it wouldn't or I wouldn't be able to do it healthy or you know just things start dropping and I don't want to get to that place. So I've decided to kind of scale back on things because I've noticed I haven't been um, I haven't been doing like my passions. I That's not really true. I am doing a lot of my passions and that's sort of the problem but I haven't been doing things small things that bring me joy like I haven't crocheted I put down my book and I haven't been reading um I haven't been just doing like cooking beautiful meals from cookbooks and baking with my kids more often and just doing these things that really bring me joy and make me feel like myself um because I don't know if you guys know how many things I actually took on since having a baby. Um, I feel like I took these beautiful 40 days of rest and then I did them and I rested and I just was in this bubble and then as we came out of it I slowly just stacked more and more on. Um, so I obviously homeschool my kids and you guys know I do YouTube and then I decided to start a podcast because I was like oh it won't be that hard. It is. <laughs> um, and I yeah, I homeschool my kids. I run one of the homeschool groups in my area. Um, we've got so much going on. It's been really crazy for Cody at work. And I have started um, my birth work. And then in starting birth work, like doula stuff, um, I decided to build a website. And then I was going to combine my herbalism stuff with my birth work and create a website for herbalism and birth work. And then the garden got put in and I'm still, you know, I'm like trying to raise my kids and Mackenzie's going to be 13 this year and I'm going to have a teenager and, you know, he's almost six months old, Zag. And it's just all of this stuff and it's just too much to manage right now. And so I just need to kind of wind it, reel it back in. Because for me, I'm very much like, oh my goodness, I can do all these things. It's going to be magical. Even with like birth work, for example, I'm only taking on my friends um, and really right now that's just all I can manage. I'm, I'm only doing like a couple births and just people who I'm friends with and um, who are okay with me bringing my baby <laughs> and just are okay with the season of life that I'm in um, while also being a support. So but for me, in my brain, I was like, I want to launch my website and do all this. And then I just it starts to like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, I have this personality that's just like, okay, let's do it all right now. And so now I've been like, oh, and now I'm going to launch a website and how can I help people online and do all these things. And even though this wasn't supposed to be kind of a slow burning process and I was supposed to just kind of dabble for now. And then once my babies are grown up or not like more grown and don't need me 
and don't, aren't attached to me 24 seven, then I can start expanding in my birth work and kind of like building that career more um, and, and serving my community and the women around me. But my brain just goes full throttle and there's just been too much. It's just been too much. So um, I had a little sit down chat with myself and really Cody did because he's the only one that can kind of talk me out of these weird like tunnel vision determination zones that I get in and he was like hey like why are you burning the candle at both ends why are you going so hard who are you working so hard for and he really like made me kind of see what I was doing and he was just like hey you're frustrated and you're telling me you're frustrated and you're telling me you're frustrated with yourself because that's what I've been feeling. I've just been annoyed with myself for like stacking more and more on my plate. And then, then it's like, if you do all the things, nothing is being done well. And I really want to focus on doing a few things really well. And I wasn't feeling inspired. Like I'm so behind on vlogs. I have vlogs, I think from April, the beginning of May, um, that I haven't even had time to edit and show you guys. So all of that stuff. I'm kind of just info dumping on you because it's quite, I just have a few minutes. So I'm sorry if this is like super dull, but the real ones, you like to listen to these vlogs. So um, I just decided that I need to kind of just scale back. And that was my biggest thing was I didn't know what to put down. I didn't know how to put anything down. And Cody really just was like, put it all down. Who cares? Drop it all. Like, the, the, your priority right now needs to be our family. And I have this thing with, like, scarcity mindset, I think, from growing up um, not super well off. Like, I just feel like I want to hustle and make money. And he's like, let me make the money. Why are you worried about this? And why are you trying to turn everything you do into a job, love? He's like, you can't. He's like, just, just you do this homemaking thing and this raising our children things so beautifully and you want to be baking and you want to be homeschooling them and you want to it but you've busied yourself with all these other things and you're not doing what you love anymore or like you're not able you don't have the time to do what you love in the depth that you want to do it and he's like just stop just stop it's okay just don't just let it go and he was right and I really needed to hear that and literally that night just the wave of pressure that came off of me was so intense like I actually got a giant migraine the next day and I swear it was just because I finally put stuff down my brain finally went <sighs> and I didn't realize how much I was carrying um so here's the plan going forward sorry my bird's going off we're just gonna let it let it happen um i am not quitting anything i'm not gonna stop making youtube videos i'm not gonna stop the podcast i'm not gonna back out of it of any births i'm not gonna stop building a website i'm just gonna stop trying to like make goals that are not or like make deadlines that i've created for myself that aren't attainable for myself right now because I've got this bad habit of like, I could do all these things and I could do them well, but it would just be too much and I would be like running on fumes and I would, again, I just wanna be more present in my life. So um, because I need to take a step back, I'm going to stop the weekly podcasts right now. They just don't fit in my life right now. I thought it would be a lot easier than it is to manage and it's just not. Um, I'm not stopping the podcasts. I love the podcasts. Um, I have so much inspiration for what I want to do in the future with the podcast. It's still going to happen. It's just, I just can't give you guys like a regular consistent schedule right now. Again, I just have to remind myself, I just had a baby. Um, if you watch the last podcast, then you know I do want another baby and I probably want one closer in age than my first two, the age gap there. So that is my priority right now. It's just being here with my kids and doing the simple things and raising them well and raising them really well and making sure that they have a healthy and mentally healthy mom who is present and able to look in their eyes several times a day and connect and i just don't want to miss any of this egg is turning six months um this next month and it goes so fast after that like it already has gone so fast but it goes so fast after that and i do not i refuse to miss any of it i refuse so 
Um, you're going to still hear from me in the podcast department. I'm just going to put it up when I can. I don't know if that means one a month. Um, I don't know what it looks like right now. And I'm just going to be okay with not knowing right now because I just need to take a break. Um, and I want to get back to being inspired to share like just the casual cozy daily vlogs with you again. Or not daily, but like, you know, I'll put days together and it'll be like a week, like a weekly vlog or something. I want to get back to that cozy core. And I feel like if I'm not living what I'm always preaching and what I'm always talking about, then how can I share with you guys if I'm not um, living that myself, right? So I want to get back to doing all my cozy homemaking things and then I'm already feeling more inspired to share with you guys. So I'm excited to get back to filming videos because I just really want to and because I really want to document and I really want to share that. Um, I have a lot of, we kind of took a break from school and we switched to unschooling actually again halfway through the year and um, that was lovely and it was perfect and it was exactly what we needed but we've all decided that like the kids came to me and were like we want to go back to our normal school routine um, and so there's a lot of like updates and things I want to tell you guys but I need to gear up for the next school year and get really organized for that. Um, I do have a birth coming up to attend this summer um, and potentially helping with another in the fall like for postpartum stuff and I just need to scale back so that I can serve everybody including myself much more deeply and well so I'm really sorry if I'm disappointing anybody um, but also I need to not disappoint me <laughs> And that needs to be my priority right now. So the website will eventually come out, but I don't know why I was grinding. And it, this is like something that like maybe 2025, depending on when I have another baby at the earliest, I would like launch to the public. I don't know why I'm trying to grind so hard now. I don't need to, and it's crazy. So I want to be in my garden and I want to do slow things and I want to bake bread every day and I want to cook scratch meals for my family and I want to read to my children and look at my baby's face and just snuggle him and cuddle my big kids and just be really present so um I will be sharing more here in this space like this low editing um take you around cozy vlogs getting back to like that I, I'm really good at cozy and I love cozy and I need to get back to that. So that's my plan. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that I am just taking a break before I break because all of these things are so wonderful and I think they are my soul work, like my life work, um, homemaking and sharing that and sharing people or with people um, how to make almost like how to do it yourself like just find your cozy find your heart in your home and however that looks for you and um and do that in your own life i love sharing that kind of i just want to inspire people to do what is best for them um don't do it like me but find your own joys in your own life i just want to show people um how to notice joys in their own life and, and how beautiful the simple things can be and so I want to spend more time doing that and I know that my herbalism and birth work is my calling that's my duty to community I feel that deep within my soul and I'm so excited to kind of slowly grow that but I need to do it slowly um, because I'm raising my own babies right now and I'm kind of starting over with babies and I'm in that season again and I do want another one and I need to focus on that so that I can have um you know a healthy just even like my own physical health and then being able to breastfeed well and have another very healthy pregnancy and another healthy home birth and all of that it requires me to take care of me um and so I guess one of my friends too I was talking with her and she was like she told me a story of um a teacher in her past that had told her like you're still these things just because you're taking a break or you're in a season that is calmer or you're putting work aside to do something else um you're still well in her case it was you're still an artist and 
it made me realize I'm still a herbalist. I'm still a birth worker, even if I'm not doing those things super actively. I'm still a YouTuber. I can still be a podcaster, even if I'm not posting things super regularly. I don't have to be all the things at one time. And I really needed that reminder. So I just want to come on because I know I've been kind of frazzled and quiet and people have been noticing. Um, I would like to, you guys are going to see the next things from me are going to be the vlogs that I'm really behind on. Um, and I'm just going to take my time and because I really do like editing and things. So I'm just going to take my time and edit them and whenever I have the space and it just feels good. Um, I will do that and, and post them and then I'm going to get back to filming my normal stuff like just my cozy times and then whenever I have the space in my life I'm going to film a podcast episode and release to you so I don't plan to stop or quit that but even like my own friends haven't had time in their lives to even watch all the episodes I've already put out or listen to them so that was like it was kind of like permission that I don't have to go so fast <laughs> um and sometimes with my personality type, I just need that permission, which is why Cody kind of has to shake me a little bit and be like, hey, you don't need to do this and you don't need to do it right now. And if this doesn't feel good, drop it all. Um, and like, who cares what anybody thinks and who cares if you think you're disappointing people? Just like, you need to just focus on you and that's okay. <laughs> um, so I really needed that reminder. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and kind of give you guys a little bit of a update because I feel like I've just been, I'm getting to the point where I've just been pumping stuff out and I'm not, it's not that I'm not passionate about anything I'm saying or doing right now. It's just, I'm, I like pump something out and then I'm just dead tired and I'm just crashing into bed at the end of the day because I'm trying to do all the things and it's not it's not some, that's not the life I want to live for myself. I want to have time to drink tea and read my herbalism books in the afternoon. I want to have time to make a baby blanket for a friend. I want to have time to, you know, just spend days doing nothing with my kids. That's where life happens. And that's where a life is built. And I need to make sure I'm creating so much space for that, especially in the season that I'm in. So I know you guys are so great and everybody's going to be like, yeah, of course you should be doing that. Um, and yeah, I just think if it's something that I'm talking about all the time and kind of preaching, I need to be practice what I'm, practicing what I'm preaching. And I feel like if I'm feeling really inspired and really whole in that way, I'm going to put out better content on my social media platforms and here and it's just going to be better. So anyway... I'm gonna run because I have to go to the grocery store and I gotta take this baby. Um, but I really appreciate you guys being here with me. I appreciate every one of you, especially like there are so many of you who have been here through all my changes, through all my seasons since I've been sharing online. Way back in the day, I started vlogging when Grayson was born and um, like his birth video is one of the first videos I put on YouTube and yeah, it's just some of the some of you are here for my blogging days when I used to blog. Um and I just appreciate all of you and and the new ones too. You guys who are newer and have only been watching me for a short time. I just really appreciate all of you who have just watched me grow and change and evolve and take these steps back and reevaluate because that helps me grow and change. You know, we need those times to step back. Um and I always I don't know why I get worried or why why I feel like I'm going to disappoint anybody because everybody's always so gracious and so understanding. And so I thank you. Deeply I thank you for being for just being here and for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and to engage with me online and to be a part of this community because I need this community in my life and I'm so grateful for it and I know that other people need this community as well so i don't even know what the point of all this was i just wanted to give you guys an update and tune in a little bit i'm not going to edit this i'm just going to post it so i love you all so much i hope you have a very beautiful gentle week um go gently if you need to reevaluate i just invite you to take pause see how you feel about all the areas in your life and just remember you can simplify 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 and you can build up later and you can pause as much as you need you can reevaluate as much as you need it's a very good thing to do 
Okay, you guys, thank you for listening. We'll see you in my next one. Bye.